Uh, levothyroxine, eltroxine, thyr thyronome, these are the different names. And uh, initial dose is 10 to 15, sorry, it should be microgram per kilogram per day. And treatment should be initiated at the earliest, no later than two weeks or immediately after confirmating tests. The better outcome is seen with high dose early treatment compared to early low dose and late high dose. So I tend to start with 15 microgram per kilogram, repeat after two weeks and then we can reduce the dose. So especially if you have started treatment with a high TSH, better to err on the side of caution and go higher. For example, if it's a three kilo baby, you can give 50 microgram, uh, which is just above 15 microgram per kilogram. And for a two kilo baby, you give 30 microgram and so on. So the tablet comes in 50 microgram and 100, and you can uh, dose it uh, like uh, mixing it in uh, 5 ml and uh, spreading according to the dose you need. The tablet is crushed and suspended in a few ml of water or milk. Avoid concomitant intake of soya, iron, calcium, fiber. In newborns, this usually doesn't apply. We say pre-feed or uh, one hour after the feed so that uh, the interference with the calcium is less. Adjust the dose to ensure normal growth and development. Aim for a low normal TSH of 0.5 to 2. Uh, units and free T4 in the upper half of the reference range and aim to normalize T4 within two weeks and TSH within one month. So you don't need to be uh, worried if the TSH is coming down slowly, but as I said, err on the side of caution and start at the higher end of this range. I'm seeing many patients reporting that in the newborn with the TSH of 100, they are started on 25 microgram. It's not wrong, but it's preferable to start them at least with 37.5 microgram for a two and a half kilo baby or so, and 50 microgram for three plus kilo baby. And then you are going to repeat after 10 to 14 days anyway, so you can titrate it down. The impact of a high dose is going to happen long in the long term. If the baby is hypothyroid, a small difference, a small rise in the dose doesn't impact the bone fusion and so on. So these effects are the ones we are monitoring the higher T4 levels to be avoided. So you don't need to panic when you're monitoring closely. And the education of the family is very important when you start treatment. Explain to them that it's an impact on the brain development, so you cannot take it lightly. And you have to be very clear about why you are starting, why they shouldn't miss a day, day's dose. If they do forget the dose for any reason, you, they can give it later in the day. And it's also important to tell them to come for the blood test before that day's dose is taken so it doesn't interfere with the free T4 levels. Um, they should remember to take it soon after the sample is taken. So that is important as well. Many parents are worried about the instruction about uh, feeding on empty stomach in a newborn or in the first two, three months, babies keep feeding all the time. So the best advice is to give one hour after the feed uh, so that you don't miss out on the dose as well, waiting for a pre-feed.